Hi, I'm Brandon with the One Melt team. Today we're going to be looking at checking the RTD and heater resistance for the hose and applicator of the One Melt. Like the tank, the hose and applicator also have RTD heater components and you will check them the same way. Here we see the cord set that plugs in electrically for the hose and with the applicator you will plug it in on the other side of the hose so you have the ability to check the applicator heater or RTD either through the 6-pin cord set of the applicator itself or the 12-pin of the hose as long as they're plugged in. So I'm going to unplug from the one melt unit and this would be the pin out that you would see on the hose end. 12 pins, they are numbered and in order to find which pins you'll need to check, you will want to reference the one melt and the applicator manuals. For this example, I'm going to be checking the heater resistance for the applicator. So I have an a ohm meter and I have it set the resistance and I'm going to use clips in order to get to the pins for the hose. So you're going to just put your pins in your cord set. And then you should be around 35 to 50 ohms for the hose heater or gun heater. And again, if you're open, or read zero or OL means open, that means your heater is bad. In that case, you would either have to trace the lead for a loose or damaged connection or replace the heater component. And similarly for the RTD, if your resistance is fluctuating up and down, more than likely it's erratic, it would need to be replaced. Otherwise, it should be a stable temperature based off the RTD nickel 200 range found in the one melt manual. And this is how you check the heater and RTD resistance of the hose and applicator on your one melt system.